Hi guys, this is Mrs. Novello in the Expressive Arts Room and I'm going to talk about the chicken wire that you're going to work with in order to make your chess piece sculpture. Groups of two will receive a piece of chicken wire that's been cut 18 inches. And when you analyze your forms, your chess piece forms, you'll realize or come to the conclusion that the majority of them take on a basic cylinder form shape first. And that's super easy for groups to bend this wire, manipulate it into the shape of a cylinder, and then once you've got that basic form, then there's another way that you will work together to connect those ends and tuck them in. And that's later on. But once you have your cylinder form, depending on what chess piece you have, whether it be a pawn, a rook, a king or a queen or knight, um, you may need an additional extra piece of chicken wire to add that additional design to the top of your piece. If it's a castle, you might want to get this piece and kind of stagger the ends to make it appear as though it looks like a castle. Um, you may want to do a cross. Um, whatever design your chess piece has, your additional six, piece, six inch strip of chicken wire will be designated for you to add that additional design element and then connect that to the top of your cylinder that you've preformed. So depending on what piece you have will determine how much chicken wire you get and how far you go with extending the design with additional chicken wire.